Hi friends, I welcome you to Learner Ansari Java tutorial. In this tutorial, you are going to learn what is encapsulation. Encapsulation is an important concept of object oriented programming. What it is? Encapsulation is nothing but encapsulation means wrapping of data into a single unit. The definition of an encapsulation is wrapping of data into a single unit. Now, we have a question how to wrap the data into a single unit. It is very simple. We can make all the instance variables private and providing the public setter and getter method, the providing the public method to modify the private variable. So, this is what the encapsulation is. We can wrap the data by making all the variables private and providing public methods to access it. So let us understand the encapsulation practically. So here let me create a class which will explain the encapsulation. Example encapsulation. Okay. So let me create another class employee. So here let me define the data members string name. As I told you, let us make this private and private the age private string city and when we create your object for employee here employee John John is an object for an employee employee now we cannot access the variables defined inside the employee the name age city so all these data members are declared as private so this is not accessible outside the class. So what we can do here is we can provide the public method to set the name string name. The start name is equal to name. So we can pass the name as a parameter so that it will receive the name which is passed and it will be set to the this object name. So likewise, we can give set age, integer age, and the start age is equal to age. As both variables are same, age is a local variable and the age is an instance variable. So differentiated, we give, we use the this operator. It refers this age. That means the class contains the age variable. This refers the age variable which belongs to the employee class. So this age refers to the local variable age so that the value of age will be set to the instance variable age. I hope you understand the use of this operator. And uh, let us provide the getter method, get name. Return name. So, return spelling then public integer get age return age and here public string city get city so return city okay sorry return city okay so now this program is the best example for encapsulation because the all the variables the data members of the employee class is private and we have defined the public method to set a name and the age and city so using the public 
methods of employee class, we are going to access the private variables. Let us see how to do that in John. So this is a private variable. Since it is private, this is not accessible outside the class. But here we can we are going to access the private variables using the public method. So here set name. So James Gosling and John. Let us make this object as James so that it gives us meaning. We can give any name, it doesn't matter. And set age. Here is uh, 45 and James dot set city. New York. Okay, now let us print this object. When we print the object, it prints the address of an object, James. So let us execute this and let us check it out why it gives us error. Select city. Yeah, here yeah, there is no get set city method public. Public white set city string city. This dot city is equal to city. Yeah, now it is fine. Now, when we print the object, it prints us the address of the current object. Let me explain by executing this program. Now you can see the com dot core Java, the package name is printed as well as the class name and the at 659E0BFT is the address of an object. So let us see how to print the value, the state and behavior of an object. So it is very easy by overriding the two string method we can print, when we print the object, the object prints the message whatever we want. For example, public by overriding the two string method. So here we go, return. Here we can write our own message. So let us see now what will be displayed. So when we print the James, the two string method is called. The two string methods of employee is called. When we print the James, it prints us message. Here it prints the message. So when we print the object inside the println statement, it calls the two string method. So here what we can do is we can provide name, we can return the name and uh, on space. And we can return the age and space as well as the city. So what happens here is it returns the name, age as well as city. Before setting it, let us print the same object, James. Then after printing it, after setting the name, age and city, let us see how it prints. Now, yeah, now it prints zero, null, zero, null. James, it prints null zero. You know why? Because the default value of an object is null. The default value of age is zero and the default value of city is null. So before setting the name and age as well as city, we have printed the James. So the James object is created. When the James object is created, it initializes all the instance variable with the default value. So name is set to null, age is set to zero and city is set to Null. So that is the reason when we print the object, it calls the two string method. Now the name contains null, age contains zero, and city is initialized with null. That is the reason we got the output null, zero, null. Then after this, we are modifying the private variable outside the class using the public method, the setter set name. So James dot set name. So the James Gosling. So it is called. So the James Gosling is passed to the name and this James Gosling is set to this dot name. So now this name refers the James Gosling object. Now here set age 45, we are passing the 45. So set age method is called, so set age. So age is received here, 45 is now in this age and the 45 is initialized to this age. That is nothing but this. And same set city New York. Now New York is passed to this city and city is set to city. Now when we print the object James, now the same two string method is called. Now the name is set to James Gosling, age is 45 and New York. 
that this why we have got the output James Gosling, Spotify, and New York. So the encapsulation is nothing but wrapping of data into a single unit. The way of wrapping the data into a single unit is making all the variables private and providing the public getter and setter method to access the private variables outside the class. This is also an example of data hiding. Hope you understand the concept of encapsulation. Thank you.